Ladies and gentlemen, the Greater Metro Junior Hockey League proudly presents to you the Bradford Rattlers and the West Nipissing Lynx. Halo Night here tonight in Bradford here at the BWG. Master Chief dropping the puck. We're going to get Darth Vader next to maybe Kylo Ren. I don't know. We're going to throw some other movie series in there or video game series. Get you guys fired up for more puck drops. And we got a bunch of gaming things here to give away here tonight all throughout the game. It's a pretty good night to come to a Bradford Rattler game. And we appreciate everyone coming here tonight and watching here on YouTube as well. The puck has been dropped and we are underway. Starting net miners for tonight for the Bradford Rattlers. Number 35 making his home debut for the Rattlers as you see Filipov with a shot wide. Maxim Ivanov starting the Russian native for the Bradford Rattlers and for the West Nipissing Lynx. Number 35 Derek Rave. Rattlers with a bit of zone time in the offensive end. Now the Lynx have it in the defensive zone and they'll try to start a breakout. Barber, a long stretch pass, can be shielded down by Daniel Suda. Bradford Rattlers dressing seven defensemen here tonight and 11 forwards. Blake Barber, six in yellow from his own end. A tip in, but it goes up and out of play. That came off the stick of number 21, Stefan Filion, the Struchin Falls, Ontario native. This whistle coming with 19.16 to go in this first period. And again, it is Halo Night. Here at the Bradford West Goldenberry Arena for the Bradford Rattlers, we'll have a first period intermission interview with the guys behind the costumes here tonight. Master Chief. Bucket slapped back in by Savanic. And they're gonna welcome the 405th in Infantry Division tonight. For the world's largest premier Halo-based co costuming community. Kirknick made a pass in front for Erickson, and that shot never got through. It was blocked on the way by Kudzvikas. Savanik breaking it back over for West Nipissing. His shot flooded off by Baxter. Now Ragler goes into the corner after it against Dylan DiTomaso. DiTomaso gave it up the middle to Gurevich. Gurevich is flattened there by Baxter. Jacob Rodin hits center and gives chase. Peeling on back is Matthias Jolet. Light a pass over to Kudzvikas, and they make a pass over to center out of the reach of Ganyong, but he's able to turn it on back into the Rattlers' end before it's settled down by Oliver and Malm. Return pass to Di Tommaso. Banks off the boards to Levitsky, and he returns it to Oliver and Malm, got to center, dumps it in, and heads in after it. Rebe out of his case to play. It's trying to be shielded down by Malm, but it got to the blue line. A pass over to Levitsky in the high slot. Levitsky passed across for Malm, and he just whiffed it. A chance for Trofimov now. He'll look to the blue line now to Filipov. Filipov will go D to D. A shot there from the blue line came in hard by Sergei Sherbakov. And it got kept aside by Reve into the corner. Links up possession. They bank it off the boards and go after it. Good try by Sherbakov. He made a nice backhand pass out of the zone. And now it's Steven Levitsky. Levitsky able to gain his way through center. He'll shield it over for Trofimov. Flag back in into the corner. The Lynx end by the Lynx player. Good keep in there by Wickland. Hendrick Wickland, sharp angle side. He'll go back behind the cage to Levitsky. Steven Levitsky looking over the scene. He'll get it over to Trofimov. Trofimov, oh, he looked for the Michigan there, but he still is after it. Getting hounded there defensively by number 25 for the West Nipissing Link side is Gage Nesviger. Trofimov, nice saucer pass. He relayed it on to Suda. Suda's shot may have been deflected on the way and it just scorched on wide. Trofimov can return it to the corner. Steven Levitsky. Peered off a check from Nesviger, but he's back on it. Trofimov went for the Michigan again, but Lasherity's having none of that. Levitsky, the Rattlers still have possession of the puck. Looking for McCarthy back down low, the captain pinching back in, but the Rattlers were foiled on that last chance, and they have to start out anew. Hendrick Wickland through to McCarthy. McCarthy off the bank pass, but it didn't get on through. Julian McCarthy, the forward, playing here tonight. Normally a defenseman, the captain, but he's on the forward. Here tonight for the Rattlers. He makes a big heck back behind the play on his man, White Duck. Barber, a nice spearing effort to get that puck not out of the zone, however. Puck took a funny hop off the stanchion before Kirk Meyer is belted to the ice. Then Musi into the corner. Shields off from Erglis. Hendrick Wick. Pardon me, Adam Witkowski to the blue line. Daniel Suda goes D to D. 
to Di Damaso. Di Damaso's shot was blocked in front, never got through to the net. Sven Musi, that's a nice move, but a good stick play was made by Elmis Erglies, and the puck comes out of the zone finally for the Lynx. Dylan Di Tommaso slapping it back in. William Daniel Burns, he's shielded down by Barber. Barber's just gonna tie up that puck back behind the net. The netminder Rive looks over as he sees Wachowski will give it to the blue line. Di Tommaso, D to D to Rodzkov. Pavel Rodzkov will just send it back into the corner. Wachowski's after it, has Burns shielding behind him. Ergley's pins him against the boards, but William Daniel Burns has it. Puck got away from him as Di Damaso got a shot towards goal, but it was blocked in front. An aerial lift to center and a 2 on 1 for the Lynx. Savannah heads to the net. Philly on a shot there, never got on through as a save was made by Ivanov. Rodzkov couldn't get that puck out of the zone. Kuzvikas got a shot away, but it just went into the corner. Stefan Filion got that puck into the corner where Musi can redirect it to Rodzkov's way. Alternate captain here for the Rattlers has it seven in green. Elevator pass to Musi. He sauces a dish pass over to Wachowski. Adam Wachowski will gain the zone and peer wide. Spins on a dime and just tries to get it into the corner before it was stood up there by Gustav Stickens. Kudzvikas off the boards but not out. Eriksson's able to put it right back to him. Gang on a centering pass. Got to center, picked up by Skripnik, and now it's relayed across as Savannah is trying to bring that puck into the zone before he was nabbed with an offside call. Luckily, the Lynx didn't touch it, so play will continue. Tanner Skripnik, 27 in green, got a pass to center, looking for Rodin, but he couldn't connect. Lead pass on ahead, good play by Sherbakov to shield that puck away. Jakob Rodin from center, and he'll hit the blue line now. Number 91 in green, you're looking at him now, the puck handler here. He'll go back behind the netminder, Reve to the blue line. Filipov will fake the shot. Now take it, looking for a redirection from Erickson, but he couldn't get him. Sherbakov sends his men down. Filipov, a bank pass, didn't work. Comes all the way to center, and luckily coming there in time is Hendrik Wicklin. Backhand pass, and he returned it. Wicklin can gain center, and now into the Lynx end. Hendrik Wicklin doing some good work offensively here. Regler is pinned up there by Wicklin. He slapped the pass back into the opposite direction. Getting to it is Matthias Jorlet. Finally able to get that puck out of the zone with Savanek. But the Rattlers slap it right back in before it's blocked down into the high slot area by the Charity. Stretch pass looking for Gurevich. Was picked off by Trofimov and he has it now. Georgi Trofimov, 16 in green, worked it back into the front area. Backhand dish in front there by Malm. And a good read and denial by Derek Reve. Offensive zone faceoff here for the Bradford Rattlers. The captain, Julian McCarthy. We'll take it, and he's lining up against Gage Nasviger. McCarthy, a center zone tie-up. Gets the possession of the West Nipissing Lynx. Pass is punched over to center and brought back in by Kirk Meyer. Erglis got it over to Blake Barber. Off the boards and out of the zone. Whistle sounds. You're going to say the puck was touched with a high stick. As a result of this, faceoff will be coming back into the Bradford Rattlers end. 12.42 to go in this first period, a scoreless tie at zero. Faceoff to the right of Maxim Ivanov. Good win by McCarthy on the draw. A pass by Di Tommaso, he got out of the zone and a foot race now as the netminder Reve will come out of his cage, but he will leave it as Wachowski gets to it first. Adam Wachowski to McCarthy. He tried to get a trigger pull in time, but he couldn't do so. Going down was Kirk Meyer, but getting that puck is ugly. So he slapped it off the glass and down the length of the ice. Icing is called on West and Nipissing. Rattlers had some tired bodies out there. So did the Lynx. Rattlers are able to make a line change. The Lynx are not as they have iced that puck. Gage Navziger on the faceoff for West Nipissing. Sven Musi for the Rattlers. Puck was dropped on a tie-up. Musi off the face-off. He tried to get a trigger pull, but it was blocked in front by some sticks in front of the netminder. Good defensive zone awareness by the players in yellow uniforms here tonight so far. 
Musi returned pass to Levitsky. He made a nice move. Steven Levitsky gets in, and his stick kind of fanned on him there. Blake Barber will just send it off the glass, and out of the zone it drops right to center. Daniela Filipov will lay it across for William Daniel Burns, and he'll park himself behind the cage and give it to his defenseman. Filipov to Sherbakov. He'll leave, leave it over for Levitsky. Steven Levitsky backhand dish to Musi. Musi shot, and he just missed wide on the blocker hand. Hard pass to Sherbakov to Filipov. Back on low. Musi centering pass. They score! Steven Levitsky cashes in on the prettier passing play you will ever see. I think every player on the ice for the Rattlers touched that puck in the zone leading up to that goal scored by Steven Levitsky. That is unreal puck movement. Goal comes with 11 minutes and 30 seconds to go in this first period. Yaka Brody after to Suda. Suda's drive and he just teed it up wide. Filion racing after it. Good job there by Sherbakov to shield that puck down. Oh, pardon me, it was Wicklin. White Duck getting it back into the zone for the Lynx. They're going to try to get it right back. Coming down with the puck now is Jakob Rodin. Rodin has Erickson heading to center. He'll use him here. Nice pass, but even better received by Erickson. Nice hip check there by Kudzvikas. Centering pass into the slot area. It's loose, and a shot was turned away and shielded on a side for Filion. Filion's able to get that puck not out of the zone, but it's flagged down and a chance here. Matthew Morin has a chance here for the Lynx on the backhand, and it's stopped by Ivanov. Maxim Ivanov, the netminder here for the Rattler, is keeping it a one-goal lead for the Bradford Rattlers, not allowing the Lynx to tie it up. Puck flipped out from the Rattlers' end of the ice into their own bench. The faceoff will be coming back into the Rattlers' end. Or pardon me, it's going to be off the stick of West Nipissing player, so the faceoff will be coming just outside of the Bradford Rattlers' end. Good faceoff win by Savanek by the Lynx. Lasherity was brought back in, but he was stepped up by Rodskov. Steven Levitsky, the only goal scorer here for the Rattlers, but they're going to say they were offside. Approaching the halfway mark in this first period, Rattlers for the first goal of tonight's contest. They lead over the Lynx by a score of one to nothing. Savanek and Malm will meet again for the faceoff, this time just outside of the zone of West Nipissing. Levitsky jumped the gun on that one. So they're going to do the faceoff all over again. Another win by Matthew Savanek. Trofimov got mixed up there with Di Damaso. Backhand pass by Malm. Puck looked to be out of the zone, but they did not call it. That's a nice move by Steven Levitsky. We've seen this many of times. Steven Levitsky a shot, and he did not miss by much. Levitsky, oh, he wants it back. Di Damaso will give it to him just now. Steven Levitsky shields off a check over to Malm. A shot, what a stop and a block effort made by LaCherity. Puck is still loose, and then it's regathered by Gerlay. He'll get that puck out of the zone, and icing will be waved off. Dylan DiTomaso lost the puck, came right in front of the net. Ivanov had to be alert on that play. Levitz gets stretch pass, try to find Trofimov, was a little too hot to handle. Dylan DiTomaso, number two in green, the puck handler now. You see him work his way to center and dump in. Stickens after the puck against McCarthy. Good pass over to Kirk Meyer. Overskated it, but try to get it on back. To Bulen it comes. A good keep in there by Filipov. We'll get it back down low to Skripnik. Kirk Meyer right looking for McCarthy. A shot. What a stop. Rebound. The puck is still loose. It's found its way into the corner. To the blue line now. Sherbakov over to Filipov. His shot never got on through. It may have been turned aside by the netminder, Reve. Puck slapped back down the length of the ice by the Lynx. Icing called 
with 8 minutes and 57 seconds to go and Julian McCarthy a glorious chance to make it a two goal lead for the Bradford Rattlers but the netminder Derek Rive having none of that the Shrugin Falls Ontario native for the Lynx Leo Harris and Sven Musi on the draw nice win by Musi got over to Burns shot there blocked in by Stickens in front hit him right in the back and that's Hit him in an area where there's not much protection there. Stead Musi, face-off win for the Rattlers. William Daniel Burns will just send it back into the Rattlers, or pardon me, the Lynx end. Burns got it right in front of the net mouth, but no one in a green uniform was unable to locate it. Sherbakov peels back, gives over to Burns. Burns, a chip pass for Musi. Sven Musi gets into the zone. His snapshot never got on through, blocked by Barber. Musi ditches it to Filipov. Filipov, a toe drag move, receives it on back to Musi. Musi's shot was blocked out front. Puck is still loose for a brief moment. Filipov trying to locate it. Puck finally comes out of the zone. Drule just going to hack at it, and Sherbakov belts him there at center. Blake Barber coming in to answer him here, and he's going right after Sherbakov, and Sherbakov wants none of that. And after the hit there by Sherbakov, the player for the West Ipissing Lynx is down onto the ice and head trainer for West Ipissing, Austin Taylor, out there attending to the fallen player for West Ipissing. Haven't seen any replays of the hit, but from our vantage point right here, we have, we are, I am directly at center where that hit took place and Devin Rapley is coming out for the Bradford Rattlers as well, head trainer for their team. And on the Sherbakov hit, it did look like up here the main point of contact was the chest area. Again, we haven't seen any replays of it. Something happened on the West Nipissing Lynx bench where, after all of that, the West Nipissing Lynx have been penalized. Two minute bench minor for the Lynx. Here are the announcement from JR Jordan Richardson, PA announcer here at the Bradford West Will Willenberry Arena. I believe it was the head coach of the Lynx was the one who has put his team down a man. William Gagnon will serve it for the Lynx. Power play set to start for the Bradford Rattlers. Finn Musi on the faceoff against Matthew Savanek. Music gets waved out. Roding to take his place. Savanek has been perfect in faceoff in this game. Roding gets waved out. Burns comes in. Rattlers win the faceoff. Steven Levitsky. Back down low to Rodin. There are no defensemen out on this power play right now. Five forwards for David Mooney and the Rattlers. Shot turned away. Musi in front went off the post and diving after it was Rodin and just wasn't able to locate that puck in time.
interesting strategy by the Rattlers, electing to go with five forwards. But since they're on the power play, it's mostly all offense. And the guys you want to generate the most offense is your forward. So you can make the argument on both sides of the, right, of the argument. Levitsky and Erickson will be the placeholder defensemen on this power play. Shot off the glass and down the length of the ice by Blake Barber. Maxim Ivanov will leave it for Jesper Eriksson. Eriksson lead pass to Musi, or pardon me, Levitsky. That's a nice reception there. Steven Levitsky turns on a dime and pirouettes it back over to Eriksson. From the high slot, Eriksson shot blocked there by Nasbiger. Steven Levitsky plays it over for Eriksson. Gives it to the opposite wing to Musi. Now Eriksson. Levitsky thought about a one-timer, but he thought better of it. To the blue line now to Erickson. He'll give it back to Levitsky. A tough pass right there. And the Bradford Rattler is unable to generate anything on that play. Rattlers come back in. It's Levitsky. Nice stutter step move there, and he makes another one. Blows by Filion. He'll play it over for Rodzkov. Rodzkov. Skrimnik a shot low and kicked out with a purpose by Rive. Levitsky thought about a shot, didn't do it. Pulled it over to Rodzkov, but he overskated it. Flipped it onto the opposite wing where Trofimov has it. 39 seconds to go of the power play, and more time will be shaved off as Filion got it down the length of the ice. Rodzkov plays it to Oliver and Malm. Malm will lay it across to Skripnik. Tanner Skripnik will cut his way to the high slot, leave it over for a Rodzkov. Rodzkov, not a Baxter. Pavel Rodzkov from the high slot. His shot rang off the pipe, but it stays in play. Trofimov. Got it back to the blue line to Rodzkov again. He rela relays it to Baxter. Comes to the blue line. Rodzkov will spear it away to Trofimov. Power play set to expire here. We are back to five on five. Pass to the high slot. Trofimov a pass over for Rodzkov. A shot kicked away and sent back down the length of the ice by Filion again. This time they were not shorthanded, so icing will be called on the links. Julie McCarthy lines in for the face off, the captain of the Rattlers. Passes throughout the handle for Wicklund. Pass came on out of the zone. The Lynx try to just slap it back in. Drule and McCarthy tie up at center. Daniel Suda at center. Kirk Meyer can't get it in deep enough. Good pick off there by McCarthy, and the Rattler is able to gain possession. Kirk Meyer, 21 in green. Stops on a dime and he'll just flutter it in between the defenseman Wickland and Suda. And so Daniel Suda has to skate back down after it. Good Vikas. Dodges a hit there by Witkowski. Puck goes back into the corner. Getting to it first was Wickland. Beer winning now is Jordan Gorilla. Gorilla 13 in yellow. Plays over to Savanek. Savanek shot blockered away by Ivanov. Burns now. Able to get it over to Wachowski. Wachowski can relay it back over to Burns. He's met by a hit by Savanek. Gustav Stickens. And on after it. Number seven in yellow for the Lynx. He'll play off the boards and down the length of the ice. Didn't have a play there. And so icing is called on West Nipissing again. Again, again, whatever you said. Four minutes and 42 seconds time remaining in this first period. Still a 1-0 lead for the Bradford Rattlers on the goal by Steven Levitsky. There are a lot of people blocking my view right now. So like half of the ice right now, I can't see it. So I'm going to try to guess what's going on. Stickens able to bring it over to center. This is the side of the ice I can see. Burns passes a little too out to handle. And the Bradford Rattlers will be called for icing here with four minutes and 21 seconds to go in this first period. Maxim Ivanov hasn't been tested much by the West Nipissing Lynx, but the chances he has been tested on, he has been, well, he's been perfect so far. I don't want to say that one word that he's currently holding right now, but... 
I think you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, the people cleared away, so now I can see the links under the ice now. Maxim Ivanov, out of his cage to play it. Try to find Musi from the pass by Filipov. Mies Erglis, after it for the links. He'll play it over to Barber. Return pass given away. Musi to the high slot, looking for Burns in front there. Just went wide. Levitsky after it for the Rattlers. To the blue line. Di Tommaso's high shot got the glass. Pops right to Burns, but he overskated it. Steven Levitsky after it, but he lost the handle. Levitsky a flip pass. Way over for Burns. Burns will get over to blue line. Filipov, rink wide, give it over to Musi. Stops on a dime, makes a hard stretch pass to Filipov. Filipov right in front looking for Burns, but he couldn't connect there. Filipov, the defenseman, doing good work offensively for the Rattlers. To the blue line, it comes to Dita Masso. His high shot almost fooled Reve. Chance in front by Levitsky on the backhand, trying to outweigh the net miner. The puck came loose right in front of the net mouth. But Burns was just unable to get there in time. Race after it now with the Bradford Rattlers end. DiDamasso all over White Duck. 64 and yellow, that's a nice move, but he tried to get around DiDamasso again. For that second time, Dylan was not having any of that. All right, there's more kids in the zone now, so I can't really see what's happening. Rodin able to get it to Erickson. Pavel Rodskov and he scores! We all saw that. Pavel Rotskov, the Moscow Russia native, alternate captain here for the Bradford Rattlers, doubles their lead. They are up 2 0 over the West Nipissing Lynx with two minutes and 49 seconds to go in this first period. Pavel Rodskov picks off from center and he comes right back in. Rodskov unable to get by Stickens. Levitsky trying to stand up Kudzvikas right there, but he gets the puck away. Levitsky will get over for Suda. Suda shot deflected on wide, may have been off Stickens in front. Kudzvikas shot to clear the zone, he'll get over to Leo Hicks. Hicks unable to get, return that pass to, to Savanik rather. And so Pavel Rodskov can get it over. Good pick up there by Levitsky, and toe drag move, got it in front, loose in front to Trofimov, over in Malm, unable to locate it. And so Hicks can play to Savanek, a relay pass over to Kudzvikas, and he'll just skate that puck in. Levitsky a turnaround dish, unable to work for the Rattlers, that goes back down low where Hicks is skating after Suda. Stretch pass, shielded down by Levitsky. Levitsky pulls it back behind him and he skates after it. Steven Levitsky looking for reinforcement. He looked for Trofimov and McCarthy heads to the front of the net. Georgie Trofimov peels his way in. That's a nice move around Stick Savannah rather. Julian McCarthy on the side of the cage. A backhand dish just went wide. That pass fooled Sherbakov off the bank and he can give it over to Tyler Baxter. Off the boards to the captain, Julian McCarthy. Chips it in and gives chase. The netminder Reve out of his cage to play it off the glass. Puck didn't come out of the zone, however. Good keep in there by Baxter. We'll just get it towards the net. Kicked out with the pad by Reve. Sherbakov went down on a knee to block away that pass, and it worked successfully for the Rattlers. Barber able to relay it back. Witkowski took a run at his man. Baxter with 40 seconds to go in the period. Reveille of his cage to play and he'll backhand it to Ergelis. Ergelis, stretch pass, got over to Filipov. Filipov will relay it back to Sherbakov. Off the boards and played over back to Barber. Blake Barber back after it, he gets it. Up into the opposite end of the ice with five seconds to go in the period. Rattlers looking for one last shot on goal, none coming as 20 minutes of playing time has concluded. 
After the first period, the score for the Rattlers, two. Score for the Lynx, zero. We'll be back for the second period of play after this first intermission and interview.
that first intermission interview I kind of lied they were doing like a tight novice scrimmage game kind of deal at sunrise I we just didn't have time to do the uh, do the interview get it all set up it's coming in the second intermission we hope puck has been dropped in period two of this contest is underway the links with first possession Adam Mikowski make a chip pass out of the reach of Finn Musi has to skate on after it Said Musa looking for Rakowski in front of the net. Stickens able to get a hit on him. Corner boards battle. William Daniel Burns is tied up there with Rakowski. Burns coming in to give it over to Blue Line. William, or pardon me, Daniel Suda rather. Centering pass there by Burns looking for Rakowski who got tripped up but no call. Grella, number 13 in yellow for the West Ipissing Lynx will hit center, dump in and give chase. Daniela Filipov. Being hounded there by Savanik. Lead pass for Redkowski was slapped away by Savanik again. Daniel Seal will get over to Filipov. A good stick lift by him, allowing Burns to take the puck. An aerial one looking for Redkowski hopped over his blade, so Barber can lay a pass that went as far as center and peeled back into his own zone by Daniel Suda. Daniel Suda getting by Savanik. Made a chip pass to Erickson in front there, and Reve able to come up strong and square to that shot coming off by Musi. Yeah. 
Face off win by Leo Harris of the Lynx. DiDomaso try to get it back into the opposite corner, picked off, and so Grilla, or pardon me, Gurevich, will skate it in for the Lynx, will be handled down by Maxim Ivanov. Kirk Meyer leaving over for a roadie, maybe a two on, on one here for the Rattlers. A good defensive play was made by Barber going down to block the passing lane. Barber a backhand flip pass. Leo Harris, number 19 in yellow, couldn't get the puck away. Di Tommaso shot was blocked in front. Barber from his own end. Stretch pass over to his defense partner, Erglies. Leo Harris unable to skate up to it in time. Rattlers with possession. Hendrick Wicklund. On over to Dylan DiDomaso and a chip in there by Skripnik. Goaltender Derek Reve holding onto that puck for an offensive zone faceoff for the Rattlers coming up. 17.57 to go in this second period. A 2-0 lead for the Bradford Rattlers. All Rattler goals were scored in the first period. Faceoff won by the Rattlers, but a good play to jump the gun and get possession of the puck. Big shot there, stopped by Ivanov. Pinashev White Duck was the one getting the chance there for the Lynx. Back comes Levitsky for the Rattlers on the backhand. It was on the line but didn't go in. Mom scores. Alvord Mom cashes in on the rebound. Right place, right time for the Bradford Rattlers. And they are up 3-0 here with 1735 to go in this second period. The captain Julian McCarthy lines in for the face off against Matthew Morin. Morin able to get it away. Filion trying to break free through Sherbakov. Whistle sounds here, and it looks like Sherbakov will be heading to the box here for the Rattlers. Face off coming to the left of the netminder, Maxim Ivanov. Captain Julian McCarthy taking the face off shorthanded, but it's won by the Lynx. Blake Barber will get it over to Erglis. His shot gloved down, but big rebound. What a stop made by Maxim Ivanov with the left pad kicking it out into the corner. Barber at the blue line, however, to the blue line. A quick snap pass back into the zone. Grella trying to locate that puck for the Lynx, but it finally escapes three and out of the zone for the Rattlers. Grella, dodged a hit there by Rhodeskopf. Daniel Suda laid it over for Rodin and he slaps it down the length of the ice. And that's what Joe Todd would always tell me, Nick, that's just how you kill penalties. Audie Regler, or pardon me, that was Matthew Savanak rather, getting that puck into the zone for the Lynx. It gets over to Savanak again. Savannah stutter step, a good move by him. Savannah again, a trigger pull, puck was loose, and Rhodeskopf getting it to it first. Trying to backhand that one out of the zone, and he'll do so here. Potential 2-1-1 shorthanded. Skripnik, a centering pass, a shot by Rodin, was read by Reve, but he plays in, and it's loose. Rodin, a shot there, and it just went on wide, and an injury behind the play. Emil's Erglis was the one on the opposite collision.
We are resuming action now, and as a result of the injury again, another penalty coming up to the West Ipissing Link. So in 40 seconds, we're going to be back to five on, or pardon me, a five on four power play for the Bradford Rattlers as that shot by Trofimov nearly fooled the netminder Reve. That's the Link's second unsportsmanlike conduct minor in this contest. Dylan DiDamaso, 11 seconds until the Rattlers will get a power play here. That'll last about a minute, 10 seconds. Filion, his shot never gone on through, blocked partially by DiTomaso as Ivanov makes the save and he's gonna cover, but plays it off. Power play on for the Bradford Rattlers. Sherbakov out of the box, laid it on for Maul, but he just overskated it. Picked off there by Kudzvikas. Sends it back into their own end. Levitsky on after it, but it comes way to the opposite corner. We're skating it to it first is Trofimov. Georgi Trofimov thought about giving it over to Musi, but he got it to Erickson. Yes, but Erickson, his shot got the glass. Levitsky after it. Back and low to Musi. Rodin trying to stuff it in. Big rebound for Trofimov. And he'll skate it on behind. Trofimov again. His shot handled there by Rive. The puck comes loose in the slot and finally swatted away down the length of the ice and back behind the play again Lacherdy injured for the Lynx and another injury for the Lynx results and another unsportsmanlike minor penalty Five on three power play for the Bradford Rattlers for 22 seconds. Sven Musi, good tie up there, allowing Rodin to get it to Levitsky. He got it to Erickson, back over to Steven Levitsky. Jesper Erickson takes it, holds, fires, and scores! Jesper Eriksson goes bar south. It's a power play goal for the Bradford Rattlers. It comes five on three, and the Rattlers will still remain on the power play. 14.30 to go in this second period. A minute 50 to go in the five on four power play for the Bradford Rattlers. Possession to the Rattlers. Tanner Skripnik gaining the zone in for the Rattlers. As Rakowski park in front, found him here, and a save by the goal stick of Reve. Chipped away from Morin. Morin shorthanded, tried to get by Rodzgov. He did so and pushed it right towards the cage, but Ivanov had to be alert and low to make that save. Pavel Rodzkov back over for Oliver and Malm. Wachowski joining the rush, heads to the front of the net. Stickens will tie him up. Rodzkov from the blue line worked it to Oliver and Malm. Took its time to get there, but finally did. Baxter, high slot. Skripnik right off the pipe. Rygler back down low trying to do work after it. Erickson can leave it over for Malm. Oliver and Malm turns away to the blue line. It's Pavel Rodzkov. Rodzkov, a return pass to Oliver and Malm. His shot, score! Oliver and Malm, another power play goal for the Bradford Rattlers. They lead five to nothing. The boys in green have come out to play here tonight. And for the West of the Sling Lynx, the story of this game so far has been themselves. The only ones to blame for the Lynx are themselves. That's multiple times they've just shot themselves in the foot and the Rattlers have made them pay on it.
Regaler on after it. Delayed offside as Sherbakov runs him to the ground. Still delayed offside as the Rattlers are finally able to get that puck out of their own zone. It's William Daniel Burns just overskated it. Got it to the blue line. Daniela Filipov trying to find a lane here, trying to get a bank shot there, unable to get it there. Skrbnik, a turnaround bid handled by the netminder, Reve, as he will await a faceoff coming to the left of him in the defensive zone for West Nipissing. Jesper Eriksson to take the Ozone faceoff for the Rattlers. 12.45 to go in the second. Good keep in there by Wickland. He'll get over to Daniel Suda. Suda's pass was foiled there, but picked off by Wickland again. He'll just get a trigger pull towards the goal, but it just went wide. Riley Burnett trying to locate that puck down for the links. Lost the stick, but picks it up. Gage Navziger getting it over to Burnett. Spears on across and a breakout dish for the links. Daniel Suda first after it. Played over for the latest goal scorer, Jesper Eriksson. Or check that, it was his second latest goal scorer, I believe. Gustav Stickens got that puck to Navziger. He puts it in and giving chase after it is Burnett. Wickland escapes free with the puck. He'll make a centering pass down the length of the ice. No one found there, and so icing called on the Bradford Rattlers. Bradford Rattlers' next game, next home game rather, will be January 22nd against the Knights of Meaford, and then January 29th, the Bradford Bulls will be in here for the first time in the BWG in this season. Live on Rogers TV and here on YouTube. Erglis injured earlier in this period, but he's back out there. He got a good scoring shot from the blue line near redirection for the Lynx to cash in, but the Rattlers break out. Jakob Rodin, backhand saucer pass into the high slot. Couldn't find anyone there. Reigler's in a foot race after with Erickson. Blake Barber, six and yellow. Punched it over for Erglis's way. Picked off by Steven Levitsky. Levitsky now skating after it, has Dylan D. Damaso behind him, but he gets it over to Oliver and Malm. Malm back to Trofimov. Georgi Trofimov trying to force a play to Rodskov, but he found it just a little too out to handle as that force feed was made by Rodskov, but he's able to pick up that puck and skate on. Chip in by Malm. Skating after it is Levitsky and Barber. Levitsky put it into a dangerous area, but no one was there to read it. Savanic through center. He found Filion. Filion looking over to Savanic again. He got Barber back in front. Savanic, what a save! Made by Ivanov! Links were that close to getting one past the Russian netminder. Ten minutes to go here in the second period. Filion will oversee a 2 on 2 boards battle. He'll head his way into center as Jerlay can flip a pass over. A good reception there by Morin. Nice move by Steven Levitsky. Through center, the defenseman Rodskov after it. Pavel Rodskov leaves it over for Georgi Trofimov. Stops on a dime and looks over. Centering pass can be broken up. Coming back as Stefan Filion. He got knocked down as Morin brings it in. Didn't touch it, however, so the play will continue. Steven Levitsky dumps in and a line change on for the Rattlers. Thanks, bring the puck back into the Rattlers' end. Shot from the bad angle, got through to Ivanov, and he's able to come up square, hold on to it, and cover. After that terrific save made by Maxim Ivanov. As the play went back into the other end of the ice and the links, and Ivanov was very slow to get up. 
Perhaps talking over with head trainer De Devin Rapley. Looks like Ivanov will be okay. Ozone face off for the Lynx. The captain, Julian McCarthy, takes it for the Rattlers, but LaCherity's after it. Got by him, but LaCherity has Witkowski all over him. Skripnik heads to the net. Try to find him here before it's swatted away with the goal stick of Reve. McCarthy after it. Hard pass. He found Daniel Suda. Good pass by Julian. To the blue line, Witkowski getting worked over by Gavirich. Leo Harris got it off the boards. Daniel Filipov after it. Filipov relays it back into the zone. Julian McCarthy, he chipped it just over the net of the netbinder Reve. Daniel Filipov doing work back in low. McCarthy picks it off. Julian McCarthy, a trigger pull deflection, big rebound. Filipov turns and fires a big rebound again before it's finally cleared out as Leo Harris gets drilled by McCarthy. And a retaliatory play by Brady Lasherty slashing McCarthy as he makes his way to the penalty box. And that's another penalty against the West Nipissing Lynx. Sherbakov from the blue line, his shot right into the glove of that minor Reve. Pardon me, that was Hendrik Wicklund getting the shot towards the West Nipissing netminder. Hendrik Wicklund, native of Stockholm, Sweden. His defense partner on this power play is Dylan DiTomaso. He's a native of Toronto, Ontario. Gustav Stickens trying to get that puck out of the zone. He did so successfully. Di Damaso lays it for Wickland. Switzerland native Swin Musi after it. William Daniel Burns will skate with them all the way into the zone. Musi stops, gives it over Di Damaso. He has lots of room here. He gets a shot through, blockered away with a purpose into the corner by Reve. Skripnik. Got the return pass. He's into the corner. Gives it over to the near blue line. Wickland back over to Skripnik. A centering pass off the stick of Stickens and up and out of play. Over in Malm and Savannah. We'll meet in the faceoff again, this time won by Malm. Daniel Suda from the blue line. Trying to work his way in, he'll feed it to the blue line where Filipov's after it. Over to Oliver and Malm. Malm a centering feed, it's loose. Malm whacked at it, but he just screamed it wide. Daniel Suda relays it back to the blue line. Daniela Filipov, his shot deflected off of Wachowski, but just went wide. Filipov keeps it in at the blue line. He'll just tee one up, got it through, but rebound from McCarthy and whacking away there. As the referee lost sight of the puck and so an early whistle. I, th I think he lost it. Savannah face off win for the Lynx and they're able to get that puck out of the zone. Pavel Rozkov over to Jesper Eriksson. Eriksson can tip tub his way into the blue line, get a shot first, stop by Reve. Big rebound and Reve is out of its cage to cover. With 20 seconds to go on the power play for the Rattlers, 6.39 remaining in the second period.
Plain win for the Rattlers. Rhodes got a one-timer, didn't get much on it, but it's loose and a big rebound chance there for Rodin. Rodin puts up Kutzvikas into the boards. It comes to the near side of the boards. To the blue line now to Rhodeskov. Five seconds remaining on the power play. Skripnik in front. Pardon me, that was Kirk Meyer rather getting a shot away but wide. Erickson lofting it towards the gate. Before it's picked up by Sherbakov. His shot was juggled and bobbled for a bit there by Reve, but still possession to the Rattlers. Yes, for Erickson. Sherbakov, he'll let one rip and he just teed it wide. Rhodeskov back down low. Erickson looked, to sh looked over his shoulder and made a play. Erickson saw the hit coming and braced for it. Steven Levitsky, 14 and green after it. To the blue line now to Sherbakov. Pavel Rhodeskov. The defenseman back into the corner. He'll relay it ahead for Levitsky. Levitsky plays over for Sherbakov. Takes a look back to the blue line to Musi. He'll let one go and he just teed it wide again. Shot there coming from the line, from the blue line rather, by Sherbakov went wide. Musi now to Trofimov. Trofimov now to Pavel Rodskov. He'll get over to Sherbakov. A hard stretch pass for Trofimov. Trofimov. Levitsky, high slot. Looking to get a shot away. He does so here, and it's turned away by Reve. Rattler still with possession. It's Musi to the blue line now. Trofimov, his shot handled there by the netminder Reve, and Puck is slapped back down the length of the ice. Icing called on the Lynx. Timeout called by the Lynx. Timeout has expired. Offense its own face off for the Rattlers. Good win by Julian McCarthy off the face off, but the Lynx able to get that puck down as LaCherity is racing after it. Again, we are back to five on five. LaCherity took a bump there by McCarthy, but the puck was still loose. Regathered by Tyler Baxter. He took a hit into the corner by LaCherity. LaCherity throws a hit on William Daniel Burns. LaCherity hitting anything in green on the ice right now. Pretty big smile on his face while he was giving those hits out, too. Charity loves to play the physical game, and it shows on this shift. McCarthy a chip in and giving chases Burns. Barber after it. Played it over to McCarthy. He let it go by for Wicklund. Wicklund, a flutter shot that just goes on wide. Skrbnik played it to the opposite corner, held by Barber. Flipping it ahead, flagged down with a stick by Skrbnik. Julian McCarthy, Tanner Skripnik back in front looking for Burns. Burns brought back down to the ice. Good Zvikas, hard stretch pass, good shield down made by Wicklund. Wicklund a bank pass to himself, but the Lynx were offside. Three minutes and 48 seconds time remaining in this second period. Again, five nothing for the Bradford Rattlers here tonight. They scored three, or pardon me, two in the first three here in this second period. And you gotta imagine they got more. Daniel Suda snap pass over to Alvin Mal or pardon me, Alvin Malm rather. And he's able to get it into the Lynx end. To the blue line, shielded down by Suda. Deflection on goal, big rebound, and Reve is able to come up strong and make the save.
Again, Bradford Rattlers' next home broadcast will be against the Knights of Meaford on the 22nd of January. And on the 29th of January, the Bradford Bulls make their first appearance here in the West Bradford, West Columbary Arena, live on YouTube and Rogers TV. Tonight here against the Lynx, Halo Night. A lot of Halo-themed items here tonight. Lots of giveaways that we have. Lots of kids coming by, grabbing some games, grabbing some other sorts of swag that we kind of brought here. Shout out to GameStop. Christoph Kirkmeyer, Dylan DiTomaso, a snap pass to Suda. Good shield done by LaCherity, but they're going to say it's touched up by I Stick. Only three home games in the month of February, the last month of the regular season. On the 5th, they have the Timiskaming Titans, the 12th, the Bill Murray Pirates, and the 19th against the Bancroft Rockhounds. Levitskin going down, he will draw a penalty. Brady LaCherity heading to the box once again. Power play for the Rattlers going just under three minutes to go. 277, or 277, 257. What am I even saying? Jesper Eriksson for the Rattlers on the faceoff. Gage Nasviger on the faceoff for the Lynx. Steven Levitsky, slot shot, just whipped it wide. Sherbakov back over to Filipov. Daniela Filipov, stutter step, did a head fake, got it to Levitsky. Levitsky hard snap pass looking for Sherbakov, couldn't get it. That pass, unable to find Daniela Filipov. Native of Moscow, Russia. You're looking at him now, number four in green. Gives a pass over to Levitsky. Levitsky with some good speed here. Gang the zone. That's a nice toe drag. Steven Levitsky cut it on wide. Rattlers with possession still, however. Jesper Eriksson will go to Witkowski. Off the boards to the blue line. Levitsky lets it rip on a blocker save made by Reve. Two minutes to go in the period. Now one minute to go on the power play as that shot came from Erickson. A big rebound by Reve and now possession to the Rattlers again. Roding will leave it over for Jesper Erickson. Erickson tried to loft it in front, nearly banked it in. Filipov at the blue line. They all walk the line back to Levitsky. Levitsky to Musi, he scores! Sven Musi, it's a power play goal for the Bradford Rattlers again. They make the Lynx pay shorthanded. Bradford Rattlers put up a sixth spot here tonight with a minute 37 to go in the second period. McCarthy and Savannah line up on the faceoff. One by Savannah, but possession to the Rattlers if they can figure out this two on two boards battle. You see it in the middle of your screen right there. Finally prevailed by Grella for the Lynx as Rodskov can shield it down into his own end. Kirk Meyer over to Julian McCarthy. He will hit center with Bernstrang behind him. Julian McCarthy, what a move. McCarthy's in, stopped by Reve. Grilla back in for the Lynx. Shielded down, Burns. Good stick read made by Kudzvikas. Final minute to go in the second period. You heard the announcement from JR. Burns able to beat his man Stickens. William Daniel Burns to the back end. What a stop by Reve. Wojkowski trying to bring it back in for the Rattlers. Good pick off there by Liam Hicks. Liam Hicks will start it out. He's shielded off by Wojkowski. Burns unable to locate that pass. Reigler got over to Leo Hicks from the blue line with 17 seconds to go. 
Quick one off the boards. Burnett trying to get a shot away before the horn sounds. Nine seconds to go now. Puck slapped back down the length of the ice by the Rattlers. They're going to wave off icing with three seconds to go in the period. And that will conclude. After 40, Bradford Rattler 6, West Nipissing Lynx 0. We'll be back for the third period of action after this intermission. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined here now. I gotta unmute the mic, I know. I'm joined here with Tristan, a member of the 405th Legion here. Tristan, how are you? Oh, it's kind of hard with the handshake here with the opposite helmet here. Awesome. So Tristan, how long have you been 
really a fan of Halo and how long have you been into cosplaying and how much time does it take to make these outfits? Oh boy, I probably got that first, I got Halo 4 when I was, that's probably a little over 15 years ago. Oh, yeah. So that's how, that's how long I've been into Halo. I've been into Halo costuming for since 2017. That's when I made the first version of this suit. And that's when I first heard of the 405th, the whole Halo, they're like pristine, like they're the guys that do all the Halo cosplay stuff pretty much in the world. Yeah, absolutely, that's amazing. And what go, what is the 405th? What What's like your mission or whatever? It's just a group of guys coming together, sharing a love of Halo and of course costume design we as well. pretty much explained it, yeah. We're like, it's an online forum and we just talk about all the different ways that you make Halo armor. People post their build threads, how they did it start to finish. And we have a whole armory file of like, all of this is templates, paper templates. And then you use foam or you 3D print them. And all of that we have on the forum. Just a whole stock of like any Halo armor you can think of so you can build it. No, that's great. That is unbelievable. I'm sure lots of people following there, lots of people contributing as well. I got to ask, and I'm sure people are wondering at home, how much time did it take you to put this all together? So I did the, my fir the first version of this suit I did for a school project in high school. And that took me on like pretty much weekends and things about four to five months. And I've been slowly upgrading it since then. But typically that's the, that's the amount if you're doing this every weekend and like putting much, much time into it, four or five months is what you're looking at. Oh, that's a lot of dedication and oh, yeah. time pays off because it looks unbelievable. And I think everyone back home can think so as well. So Tristan, if there's anything, anything social media related you want to shout us out, where can we find you guys? Any photos of you guys? The floor is yours. Goodness, well we have an Instagram. We have, uh, if you look up 405th on the internet anywhere, you're gonna find photos of us. But yeah, 405th.com, build your character. That's the tagline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Goodness, God. yeah, yeah. We have 405th. We have Instagram for it. We have Facebook, and you'll see everyone's socials on there. So many great builders, creators. They, you throw a rock into a, like a small pot, you'll you'll run into one. Oh, absolutely, that's amazing, and we're so glad that you guys could join us here, Tristan. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Not it's been an honor that. and a pleasure. I hope you enjoy the rest of the game oh, here tonight. A lot of fun, man. Absolutely. <laughs>
We apologize for the brief break in the action here. I was just chatting up with the Tristan again, just talking to him right before the puck was dropped for this third period, just catching up on more more Halo things. Just yeah, like gamer talk, you know, kind of nerdy stuff. Just kind of what we do. Very good guy. Tristan, it was a pl pleasure to have them here. Hopefully they're enjoying themselves here tonight on Halo Night here in Bradford and this all-around amazing event that the Rattlers in a collaboration with everyone else here tonight. They put on an amazing show. Lots of kids showed up here tonight, and they got a lot of free prizes here. As you see, Rodin stopping on a dime. Lee Raylan across, and Reves able to make a remarkable save. Pardon me, that's number 30, Carson, Carson Lockhart, rather. New netminder in the net for the West Nipissing Lynx here tonight. Maxim Ivanov remains in net for the Bradford Rattlers. Jakob Rodin makes no mistake there. 7 0 Rattlers. I'm sure if you GMHL fans or Bradford Rattler fans are aware, you've been watching most of the games this season, all that sometimes. When the score is a little lopsided like it is here tonight, 7-0, the opposing team has the option to do run time. So when the whistle sounds, the clock does not stop. The clock will not stop for any reason at all until it hits zero on the board. Bradford Rattlers are taking themselves a penalty here. Again, run time. Whistle has sounded. The clock still keeps going. It's kind of been a theme lately in most third periods for the Bradford Rattlers, but that's kind of a good thing because... That just, well, that, that just means the Rattlers are kicking their you-know-what. Don't want to say that here tonight as the Lynx have put up a respectable fight here tonight. Talking to a uh, trainer, Austin Taylor, of the West Nipissing Lynx, former teammate of mine back in minor hockey. Talking to him there, he's saying a lot of their star players are either sick or injured. And I'm looking at the roster sheet right now for the Lynx, and I'm seeing a lot of players that are not in the lineup here tonight. James Taylor, Dean Chitteroni. Players of that caliber on the Lynx team has maybe been a bit of the reason why they have kind of struggled in the latter parts of this season here. Kudzvikas, number two in yellow for the Lynx, laid it over for Daniel Suda. He got it out of the zone. Gorella leaving it over for White Duck, trying to get by Dylan DiDamaso, couldn't do so. Skating after it shorthanded is Jakob Rodin. Rodin had his stick with it there. A shot there by Kirk Meyer was deflected away by the netminder Lockhart. Ivanov made a save and he made another save off the rebound, this time with the blocker. Sickens across, Gorella a shot. He kind of fanned on the shot. Jordan Grella with one of the Lynx's better chances of scoring here in this entire game, the native of Caledon, Ontario. Again, it is stoppage time here, or stoppage time, this ain't soccer. Run time. Here is 7-0 in the third period. Big rebound loose in front, trying to go 5 for the Lynx, a back end effort, and Philion scores. It's a power play goal for the Lynx. Everyone wanted to see that shutout from Maxim Ivanov, but the netminder could only do so much. Just that mad scramble in front of the net with the Lynx on the power play. And they're able to make the Rattlers pay with a power play goal of their own. Stefan Filion, native of Struchin Falls, Ontario, was the one getting the goal for West Nipissing here tonight. It still stands at a 7-1 lead for the Bradford Rattlers here with 14.45 to go in this third period. Wicklund skating after the puck. He'll leave it for Levetsky. Levetsky just avoiding the check of William Gagnon. McCarthy, the captain. Ariel left into the corner. Burns after it. He's shielded it down. 
Burns to the blue line. Sherbakov going to keep the zone. That puck is slapped back down. Length of the ice by Gagnon, and so he's skating after it. Pardon me, that was Ben Grievich. Steven Levitsky from his own end, gaining center, now into the Lynx end. Steven Levitsky, nice toe drag move, but he lost his edge. And goes crashing into the netminer, Lockhart. Face-off win for the Rattlers, it's Tanner Skripnik. He can get a backhand pass to Filipov at the blue line. Filipov's shot was blocked down, possession out of the Lynx. Good pick off there by Skripnik. Georgi Trofimov skates his way into center. He was picked off by Kudzvikas, and he's able just to slot it on out of the zone. Trofimov left it for Skripnik. Try to return it to Trofimov, and he's has possession of it now. Trofimov avoiding a check, he tried to lay it to the slot area, pinching in there, Sherbakov. Sherbakov and Daniela Filipov, he tried to relay it back over to Musi, couldn't do so. Back behind the play, a delayed penalty on Tanner Skripnik, and so the Rattlers will be shorthanded again. The captain, Julian McCarthy, will take the face off for the Bradford Rattlers shorthanded against White Duck of the Lynx. Barber from the blue line will go rank wide to Savanik. Savanik back down low into the corner. Gorilla plays it back over to Savanik. Backsters without his playing stick. That comes right to the captain, Julian McCarthy, a backhander aerial, and it goes down the length of the ice. Carson Lockhart. Out of his case to play it, he'll just leave it for Gustav Stickens. Native of Almira, Latvia. Stickens back in, seven and yellow. A backhander right in front looking for Savannah on the tap and just couldn't quite connect with him. That minor cost on Lockhart out of his cage to play it. White Duck with the pickup. He's able to weave his way back into the Rattlers end, but he's met by a wall of green jerseys. Golf swung out of the zone by Rody. Long stretch pass by the netminder Lockhart. It's shielded down by Levitsky. Nice move around with Charity. Steven Levitsky. Good Vikas all over him. Filion picks it up for the Lynx, however. Stretch pass, tape to tape to Matthew Morin. Morin back over to Grella. Stretch pass looking for LaCherity. Knifed away by Rodskov. Kermick out of the box and the puck came right to him. Back to five on five here, folks. 10 to 18 to go in the third period. Levitsky picks it up. His shot shielded off by Lockhart. And he's able to cover that puck up. Over in Malm on the faceoff for the Rattlers. Able to pull it back. Trofimov back to Sherbakov. Sherbakov, Georgi Trofimov looking to go over to Daniela Filipov, but he couldn't get him here. Filipov backtrack, centered pass to Malm. 19 in green, the puck carrier now. Over in Malm, back it comes to William Daniel Burns. Burns able to spear fork it back and further into the corner. Puck flung to the opposite side. 
Georgia Trofimov back into the corner. He'll come out high. He's met by a hit there by Brunette. Cherbikov related ahead. Trofimov picks it up. Georgia Trofimov will go behind the cage. Laid out front for Malb, who got tripped up. The play will continue. Barber had his pocket picked by Burns. Burns will just relay it across for Trofimov. His shot was blocked in front, never got through. Elevator pass to the blue line, trying to find Cherbikov, couldn't connect. Passed on to Filipov, he'll skate it in. Backhand chip trying to find Erickson, blocked by Barber. Filipov back into the corner after it. That stickens all over him, but it's punched away by Navziger. Stretch pass blocked by Rodin and up and out of play. Maso unable to pinch the zone in time, so the Rattlers had to skate on out of the zone before the Rattlers could eventually fire that puck back into the zone and do some more attacking as they are doing now. Brady LaCherity's back in. Try to kick it up to himself, but it skated through him. To the blue line, it'll get over to Stickens. Stickens a shot, it's loose before that at minor Ivanov can make a save off the links. Julian McCarthy skating after. You guys saw Master Chief there, right? Quick shot there by McCarthy. Rattled around to the boards where Suda can pick it up. He can just stash it back further into the corner as good Vikas trying to glove it out. Burn me who's a aerial attempt by a look out here. It's Levitsky. A toe drag move. Good defensive read made by good Vikas. Blue line pass. It's Suda getting it towards the goal. Fought off by Lockhart. Offside is called on the Bradford Rattlers. Puck did just come out of the zone. So the face is going to be coming just outside the West Nipissing Links end of the ice. Again, Kossin Lockhart in goal for the West Nipissing Links. He started this third period. The first and second period were started by Derek Rive. Lead stretch pass here, look out, it's Matthew Moore and his shot never got on through and a stray stick whacked Ivanov on the side of the head. Hopefully Ivanov seems to be okay here. Stretch pass, icing will be waved off as getting it to it first. There's Drew Duckett. And Eric Carlson like pass trying to spring Mooring again. Fillion, the only goal scorer for the Lynx here tonight. Unable to get that pass further and deep, and so Skripnik carries. Made a move around Drolet. Sharp angle bid off the side of the cage. Skripnik into the corner. He's pinned up. Burns coming in to help him here, but a good play here by Matthias Drolet. White Duck was a little just too anxious getting into the zone, and so the links are called for an offside. Mm -hmm. 
420, time remaining in the period. Oh, it's true. Sherbakov, a nice dish off ahead for Rakowski, and the Rowlers are offside. Chris Kreider must be watching. All the offsides happening right now is insane. If you're a Rangers fan in the comments, I apologize. All for Mama turnaround pass. Maxim Ivanov out of his cage. He'll get it over to Di Tommaso. Sergei Sherbakov back to Dylan Di Tommaso. Outlet pass, Alfred for Mom. Trofimov and Nikowski escape with them. Wojkowski a trigger pull and he flexed it wide. Good keep in by Di Tommaso. His shot scores! Dylan DiDomasso, his first GMHL goal. Bradford Rathers make it 8-1, courtesy of Dylan DiDomasso, native of Toronto, Ontario. Tyler Baxter with Genyong all over him. Trofimov getting the lone assist on the goal. Shot flexed in, blockered away. Brody from the high slot. His shot rang off the post and it corrals up and out of play. A minute 50, time remaining in this third period. What up, Master Chief? That is Tristan in the Master Chief outfit. Again, member of the 405th. 405th.com, you put it on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They're on everything, so please do check them out. Crafty deflection there by William Daniel Burns. Just never got on target. Drew Duquette, back in, Link's trying to get some pressure here, can't do so. Julian McCarthy, an outlet pass. William Daniel Burns, number 22 in green. Stretch pass for the captain. McCarthy, nice pass, he found Skripnik, his shot, oh, but he fanned on it. Uh, Skripnik's beside himself right now. Minute to go. Thank you, JR. William Daniel Burns unable to locate that puck. A lot of fans here getting the Let's Go Rattlers chance going. It'll be another decisive win for the Bradford Rattlers. And it looks like we're getting used to saying those words. Almost a funny one. Getting by the netminder, Carson Lockhart. Ten seconds to go in this contest. Oliver and Mom plays that back into the Rattler's zone end. The Bradford Rattlers pick up another victory tonight as they take down the West Nipissing Lynx by a score of eight to one. Maxim Ivanov and his first home game for the Bradford Rattlers, and he picks up the W. We would have liked to see the shutout. You know, sometimes you just can't have everything you want in life. Bradford Rattlers will skate up towards their bench, and they will salute the faithful here at the Bradford West Schoolenberry Arena. 
solid effort all around for all the boys, and especially the netminder, Maxim Ivanov, picks up his first UHL win here at home ice. So for Nick Stella and the Bradford Rattlers organization, we bid you all a good hockey night for now. <laughs>